we'll we'll start we'll start over here with this beautiful scenery of almost Mount Rainier. So here's almost Mount Rainier. Uh, okay, there it is. Uh, here's a tent. I'm selling it. Uh, buy it or don't. You could fit so many dead bodies you in could, there. You could. Oh my God, Christy. <laughs> All right, so uh, welcome to my M81 drip video. So if you guys were not tracking, if you guys were not aware, I like M81 a lot. I like M81 so much that I went out of my way to try to find, or I'm in the process of going out of my way, trying to find as much M81 surplus as I possibly can find. So uh, some of what you're seeing here is just a few products that I'm going to be soon selling or I am currently selling. So right here you see on me, I have the Marine Issue Taps Rig and every single pouch on this, I am currently selling as of a uh, release. Now, do you need this much on a Taps Rig? No, not at all. It's, it's a lot of people would say it's unnecessary. Uh, but right now I have 14 mags on this and I, I kind of have adopted the uh, the mindset of, you know, whoever wins the fight is who has the most ammunition. Um, the only issue with the TAPS rig, just uh, going into it a little bit, is the shoulder straps. These are aftermarket. This does not come with it. So this, is the, the, this shoulder strap is the only thing here that I do not currently sell. Um, I really like the TAPS rig. I like what you can do with the TAPS rig. Um, and this setup right here for me is absolutely perfect. Um, when it comes to a lot of the, uh, the newer, like Gucci rigs, oh my goodness. There's so much I've, I've rucked in it. I've hiked in it. Like I, I, when I'm, when I'm sharing experience with you guys and I'm showing experience with a lot of the kit that I'm currently using or, or use consistently, you know, I'm, I'm out in these Hills, uh, regularly hiking, rucking, training, doing, you know, LARPing type shenanigans and um, you know so a lot of the kit that I'm currently selling I'm using it regularly so when I, I'm just trying to convey to you guys of hey this is what's comfortable this is what I like and this is what I don't like I found that I like the taps rig most because I like my abdomen being able to breathe when I'm running I like being able to breathe and I don't like having a dangler that's just smacking me in the dick smacking me in the nuts smacking me in my fupa it's uncomfy. So that's why I like having my medical on the side or in my pack or you know, somewhere accessible. I know some guys will even run medical on a side um, uh, do, do hickey drop leg. drop leg. Thank you, Crispy, once again. Um, obviously, I'm in a mechanics suit currently. I do not sell M81 mechanics suits. I do sell uh, Ranger Green mechanics suits. Those are German issue. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, what I'm getting at, uh, what I'm trying to convey here to go full circle is that I'm out in these hills regularly using the equipment that I'm selling. The, the reason that I've gone so far out of my way trying to, to, to find a lot of these things to sell is that I like them so much and that they, they work. And for this environment in the Pacific Northwest, I have found that M81 is hands down the best camouflage. Uh, crispy if you'll pan down to yourself even um, he's just, just just the m81 drip and then beaver rocking the 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 og um, and by og i mean the oh was that on there yeah oh this also is in the, isn't the mechanic suit you thought it was this is top to bottom oh, i know i know but it's still cool italian mechanics or italian m81 what like it's it's similar it ain't the same, but it's it's definitely similar. All, All right, darker. crispy. Okay, back over to, uh, so the point of this video is I'm trying to show you guys uh, a couple of the products that I'm going to be selling or the couple of products that I would love to find more of because I've been spurking about for who knows how long. Um, like the, uh, the M81 flak jacket, which I'm pretty sure this was never used, has never seen service, and it is just in fantastic condition. And I just think it's cool. I'm not selling this. I would love to get to a point of selling these. I just think they're cool. I would never wear one. There's not a single scenario where I'd ever throw this on, like not as LARPing as a joke. Like that's, that's all airsoft right there. Yeah, no, it's just, like I would never use this ever. I just think it's genuinely cool. Uh, kind of like this uh, this LBV uh, uh, medical vest. 
I can't see myself ever actually using this. Uh, now I've got, I think, what do we have? Like 20 of these or so, something like that? I think it was 18 to 20, something like yeah. that. Yeah, now I'm gonna be selling these as kits. Um, and this is really, really cool because you have four of the original medic pouches and then you have three of these repro um, Alice mag pouches. Now, I'm not going to be selling these. I'm gonna be taking these off and, and I'm not gonna sell them at all because I've only have six of these. I sent a photo of these to Logan at uh, Americana Pipe Dream and I got back a response of, yo, what the fuck? Um, because he's never even seen these before. So these two pouches right here are, they, they must have been a very, very limited run of swapping over from uh, Alice Kit to Molly 2. And if you guys know or don't know, in that time frame, things were really, really weird. There was, there was short spurts where they were just kind of flirting with Kit. So you have a couple of things that are very, very rare. Um, do you know where, oh, can you go grab the, uh, the coat out of the, uh, out of the rig that has the, uh, the inside, um, uh, words, the, the rain camo. It should be in there. Yeah, no, I think, I think, I think that's it. No, 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 it's got the, 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 the trick charm? Yeah. yeah. One of the coolest and most unique pieces of kit that I've ever seen. So it is a M81 uh, Gore-Tex jacket and it's woodland on the outside and then on the inside it is German strength tarn or what's also known as uh, raindrop camouflage. This is actually sewn in, this is from the, uh, the manufacturer, even the pockets are strength tarn. Once again, I'm not selling this, go fuck yourself, this is mine. Um, but I wanna show it off because I think it's really, really, really cool. And I found it for $60 from some Korean woman at some random surplus store. Um, I'm always in and out of surplus stores just trying to find rare and unique things. All right, so let's, uh, let's go into a little bit of uh, things that I am selling. So, the six magazine bandolier, the Molly 2 system. Uh, I have, what, 600 of these, something like that? Just under 600. Just yeah. under 600. And uh, these are gonna be sold a little bit at a premium. Now, some of these have been cummed on, um, so you guys are gonna be able to get these for just a little bit cheaper because it comes pre-cummed. Um, so I love that design so much that if you've been following me for a little bit, you know that uh, the Banandelier is something that I really like because we had those these made a little bit more modern so I can have, you know, tourniquets and a medical dangler and whatnot. And this is my, my everyday carry uh, with a Shepard defensive sling in M81 uh, as well, which I will also be selling. Um, or I am also currently selling. The Banandelier is coming back in stock. Don't you guys worry, we're getting there. But in the meantime, uh, these Mamma Jammas are, uh, are, are going to work. Now, not only that, I wanna talk about and this is basically just a video of me spurging about Kit, if you weren't aware. You, you can fuck off if you want to, but I'm just spurging about Kit at this point. Just leaves. <laughs> okay, so, something that I think is genuinely cool, and this is the exact same with the, uh, the ACU. So I sell these ACU packs as well. Um, if you guys weren't aware of this, the GI Issue Bandolier is actually made in tandem with the GI Issue three-day assault pack, uh, of which is bullshit because I would never live out of this for three days. Fuck no, that'd be awful. But anyway, so the bandolier has these, uh, these snaps on the back and the front pouch, this is designed as a backer. So you have a six mag bandolier inside of your three-day assault pack ready as a rip away. And, uh, the fact that no one talks about this and or, or, or no one even knows about it is fascinating to me. I think that is really cool. Um, and if you buy the uh, the Rifleman Plus ACU kits for me, it comes, comes with a bandolier and sustainment pouches for the side. Um, of which, when I'm running a sustainment pouch on this, I actually just hook in both of the top one to this and then the bottoms down here, if that makes sense. And if you guys want, I can spurg farther into this. I'm just kind of... Uh, 
we're going light spurging today. It's a, a light spurg. Um, you know, the more I'm looking at that, it's it's basically just a darker M81. Yeah, just slightly darker. It, you know what? I could away, I could see that took away a little bit of the tan. Yeah. And they brought in more of the black. I could see that working uh, a lot better for um, like the winter months around here. Fall time. Yeah. Deep shadows in this timber. We're gonna have to hold on to a couple of those and Get actually in test the them further. Time bowl. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I like that though. I really do. Yeah. We'll have to do some hikes in that and see how we feel I really it. Really enjoy about these already. It has actual belt loops, so you can run a belt on this system. Unlike the string tarn pants. Unlike mm -hmm. the string tarn pants. Rip. God, what I would do to get more mechanic suits, man. Yeah. So, um, uh, some of this is my own personal kit, and some of it's stuff I'm selling, if, if I didn't make that clear. Um, another thing that I'm going to be selling in excess of is these uh, M81 sleeper kits. So, it's essentially everything that you need to put your sleep system in and then you can buckle it to your rucksack to your backpack what have you and then you can detach it and now you have your sleep system with you you could technically run this as a backpack probably wouldn't be fun but you could and i'm going to be selling a lot of these i think that i genuinely think this is really cool and it still has some of the uh the waterproofing on the inside so it should keep your sleep system dry Unless, you know, you're in the Pacific Northwest and you have a torrential downpour, which, you know, oof. All right. Honestly, what that would be best for is uh, just, like, keep it in your car or something. Just keep it, like, a woolly and a woolly in there. Also wouldn't be a bad idea. Also would not be a bad idea. Oh, man. And if we could find more of these. Ooh. We only got two of these in the last haul. It was just kind of odds and ends that the guy threw in for us. But they're medium regulars. And I know that technically a lot of collectors are probably going to be, like, upset that you know we're using this genuine kit and training with it but i don't know man i i don't like the the concept of collecting just to collect i collect to use you, you mean the guy that you posted pictures of that had like all m81 rucks in full loadouts but they were sitting in a display room <sighs> yeah that that i can't do it i just can't do it i thought it's cool that he has that it is also, if you have more M81 sustainment pouches, these are seven liter pouches. I personally use these um, in my one of my everyday bags. They are fantastic. They're the exact same size as the ACU ones. They're like eight times the price because you know no one wants ACU, and I can't bl I can't blame you if you don't want ACU. I mean, it dies well for the poor guys, but I can't blame you if you don't want it. And then what's fascinating? Like, look at this one compared to this one. Like the way that some of these you know, fade. That yeah, is. that's fascinating. This is almost on par with the Italian. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just, it's fascinating. And look, eleven ninety five. I wonder how old this is and how long that price tag's been on there. Because there ain't no way you're finding... Well, we bought every single one that surplus store had. Well, th no, that wasn't from that one. Well, we went to three different stores. I know, but still. <laughs> All right, another bandolier. Oh my goodness, the pack cover. Dude, this is so cool. I've never seen one of these before uh, last weekend. So it's a pack slash tire cover, which uh, I just think is genuinely dope. And I'm going to be using this uh, as my ruck cover going forward. I like that this is, this is like, this is like almost like a product video of, hey, here's all the things that I'm selling. And, and then at the same time, it's like a, hey, look at the cool things that I have. I'm gonna brag about it. You can have some of this, but not all of it, but some of it. All right, so uh, I guess the uh, piece of resistance. Oh, also LBV 88s. Uh, I'm gonna have quite a few of these, based 88. Um, I have, I think about the same number as the medic suits as we have of these. Um, so these are the ones that have it's uh, at an angle, which I actually like the concept of your mags being at an angle. I genuinely do. Uh, but there's almost no molly on this whatsoever. So it's like where, where the pouches are, that's what you get. I've, uh, I've talked to some vets that uh, wore these back in the day. They absolutely hated them. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's probably because these really weren't designed to be worn with a ruck. They were designed to be worn more with like a... Uh, an assault pack or something like that, but I genuinely don't know. I was only issued very, very little M81 when I got in the army. It was kind of on the way out when I was coming in. Can you insert the picture of Paul Harrell in one of those? 
Absolutely, absolutely, I can. All right, so the uh, the piece of resistance, the creme de la creme, the cat's meow, the white monster. White monster. All right, so the main thing that I'm going to be selling that I think is the coolest out of all of this is the Molly Two rucksack and frame in M81. Now this is uh, the, I wanna say it's the small one. I'm actually genuinely not sure. Maybe I'll just like clip that in because I don't know. I wanna say it's the small because it doesn't look massive at all. That's what she said. Um, Dub over it with the actual size, just the small, medium. The medium. <laughs> it's okay, the big ones hurt. The big ones hurt, babe. <laughs> Okay, so when it comes to this uh, this loadout, you guys are going to be getting this pack, this uh, waist belt or kidney belt, and then the shoulder straps and the frame. The biggest thing that you guys are going to have to watch out for uh, is that uh, you don't lose these buckles because this end part right here, this is probably the most lost part in all of this because Someone in their infinite wisdom thought it was a good idea for have this one buckle be a breakaway. Why? I genuinely don't know. I never used it. It's on the uh, the Molly 2 uh, ACU packs as well. So this setup right here, what I'm gonna be showing you guys with the frame, this is identical to the ACU one that I'm selling in absolutely every way. So, when you guys are setting up these frames, these, you have to understand, they're not the best frames. They're not. They, they crack, they'll wilt, uh, they creak a lot if you don't set it up correctly or if you don't take it apart and put some extra tape into it. Um, there are other companies on the market that they make better frames than this, but the fact is that it works. It's not perfect, but it works. So I'm gonna be selling this at a premium um, but if you guys want to see how to set this up, if you guys want to see um, everything with this and whatnot, I'm gonna be doing a separate video because it's kind of involved of setting this up and how you want it set up and where you want it on your back and what have yous and whatnots. Ooh, buh, buh, buh. And this is also a frame that's very, very similar to the Molly uh, 4000 packs that he was previously selling. Yep. So when he goes to do the setup video, if you want to adjust how your frame and your pack sit together, that's going to cross over on all the guys that bought the SF pack. Um, so yeah, this is kind of just a teaser of, of what I've got here and what I'm going to be selling. Uh, there's going to be some other things from of M81. Oh my goodness. 240 Bravo barrel bag. You have your section on top for a hot barrel, and then you have your section on the bottom for a cold barrel, and then you have your uh, your inside for accessories and whatnot, and you can actually strap your barrel in. I think that, once again, some of this rare stuff is just cool. I'm not going to be selling it. It's mine because at, at a certain point, I'm also not just a uh, military surplus uh, dealer, but I'm also somewhat of a collector, kind of. But I'm also you're, using it. You're so. just an M81 snob. I'm an, I'm an enthusiast, <laughs> as they may say. Um, but yeah, this is kind of just my teaser video. I didn't really, we didn't script this. So it's just, hey, let's go talk about stuff we're selling. Also, those tents are legitimately, uh, legitimately nice. I would recommend. You don't have a mic on. No one can hear you. Actually, pretty much everything else you said probably did, probably not. It, it probably didn't even get heard. Slurred. Everybody complains about the light fighter tents. Oh well, it's advertised as a two man. Okay, I am six foot two. Yeah. We could probably all three get on. Yeah. in, buddy. I mean, it wouldn't be comfy, but like. Oh, 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 oh. No, you could six foot two. I've got room to stretch. It's a nice tent, you know. It is. I mean, I know, I know that nobody wants to pack out, you know, thirteen pounds, but like, if it's if it's a decent sized tent between a couple of guys, no, you could we could easily do three of us. Cause you'd have to have. Oh, I need something behind me. Well, no. So you you'd flip around. So my head would be on that side, and then both of your guys' head would be on this side, mm. and then we'd all be uh, essentially laying and sleeping on our rucks. Mm. 
Comfy wumpy. No, you can do you can do three men in here easily. Yeah. Easily. Be real toasty in here. Well, especially cold weather though. Oh yeah. No, for the winter months this would be fine because this is a uh, this is a three season. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it would like it wouldn't be perfect for for the winter months, but you know, it'd be fine. Get all snuggly wuggly with the boys. Ooh. <laughs> well, I don't know how well. Super cozy and line it with woobies. Oh my god! Yes. You can also take the uh, the door on both sides. It can be staked out both directions, and you could have your packs outside the tent and still have more room in here. Oh, hey, another thing when it comes to tents, if you guys are tent sleeping, um, make sure that there's some, either there's some something underneath you inside the tent or something underneath the tent uh, to give you a buffer between you and the ground, because that's going to suck heat out of you. It's gonna suck. It, that's one thing when it comes to camping. So many people just don't know how... How many like simple tricks of the trade there are to you know stay on, stay warm? Maybe that's something that could maybe, be a video. Maybe we just need to go like go camping. camping. 101. Yeah, just go camping and just record the whole damn thing. <laughs> just start to finish. Just record. Hey, we're going to go camping, and here's just all of it. <laughs> just like like a live stream, but the boys we record. Go on vacation. The boys go on. Maybe we'll record we some of do that the. Uh, next weekend. Well, no, because we got people that are coming out that don't want their faces online. I don't understand it. Anyway, uh, do we want to break this all down and go on that little hike we were talking about? Sure. Let's yeah. do it. Right. Maybe we could record that. Yeah, why not? All right. Um, this M81 will all be dropping on the uh, the 30th of this month, uh, which is August. So August 30th is when I'm planning on dropping all this. And uh, and if it's later, uh, then it's later. That'd be hilarious to like tease that date and then just don't even do it at all. All right. Uh, um, thanks for coming to the YouTube the M eighty one talk. The M eighty one talk YouTube, and um, this was pretty much just a, just an ad. This whole video was an ad. You, you watched an ad. Dumbass. Got you good fucker. Got you good fucker. Okay, and uh, and cut.